now let us discuss about stop and wait protocol uh, here we have sender and receiver stop and wait protocol is very very simple sender sends a frame to the receiver and waits for acknowledgement from the receiver so receiver receives the frame and sends acknowledgement to the sender so likewise after receiving the acknowledgement from the receiver sender sends another frame to the receiver receiver receives the frame and provides acknowledgement for the frame so why it is called as stop and wait protocol sender sends a frame to the receiver and sender stops of sending another frame and waits for acknowledgement for the frame after receiving the acknowledgement for the frame then only sender can sends another frame to the receiver so this is about uh, what is stop and wait protocol there are mainly three problems which occurs in this protocol so the problems are the first problem is the first problem is frame lost second problem is acknowledgement lost acknowledgement lost third problem is delayed acknowledgement third problem is delayed acknowledgement so these are the major three problems which occurs in this protocol so first let us see the first problem what is the first problem frame lost so here we have sender as well as receiver sender sends a frame to the receiver but let us assume that that frame is that frame is lost so now what will happen receiver will waits for a frame from the sender as well as send after sending the frame sender will waits for an acknowledgement for, from the receiver so this is the problem here how we can solve this problem in order to solve this problem sender will maintain a timer for each and every frame so every frame will have a timer so this is uh, stop and wait protocol stop and wait protocol so what we are doing we are adding a timer to this one so this is called as stop and wait arq protocol we will see this point later so here sender sends a frame to the receiver but that frame is lost so every frame will have a timer so timer means uh, it is uh, some time period let the time period is 20 milliseconds so sender will waits for the acknowledgement from the receiver for 20 milliseconds only after that time period expires then sender send, sends the same frame to the receiver once again so in this way we can solve this problem so for the stop and wait protocol what we are doing we are adding timer so this is called as stop and wait arq arq stands for automatic repeat q stands for request automatic repeat request the name itself specifies the meaning if the time period expires sender automatically repeats that means automatically transmits that frame once again so this is the first problem we can solve first problem by adding a timer to the stop and wait protocol now let us see the second problem what is the second problem acknowledgement lost acknowledgement lost so initially sender sends a frame to the receiver let receiver successfully receives that frame and it provides acknowledgement for the corresponding frame but let us assume that that acknowledgement is lost so we know that sender will maintain a timer for each and every frame so it will waits for a corresponding acknowledgement from the receiver for that period only if the time period expires then what will happen sender will retransmits the same frame once again 
sender will retransmit the same frame once again but here receiver thinks that it is the new frame receiver thinks that it is the new frame so receiver will provides acknowledgement for this frame but here what is the problem this frame is nothing but the oldest frame only so this problem can also be called as duplicate frame problem duplicate frame problem so sender is sending the same frame the duplicate frame so how the receiver will identify this problem so in order to solve this problem sender has to add sequence number to the corresponding frame so it is the zeroth frame let us assume that this is zeroth frame so in addition to the frame it has to add sequence number also so sender sends frame zero to the receiver and it will wait for some particular time let the time period expires so sender is retransmitting the previous frame once again so what is the sequence number here frame zero so it is retransmitting frame zero once again so by ident by seeing this frame zero so receiver thinks that this is the this is the duplicate frame already receiver has that frame zero there is no problem with frame zero that frame zero is successfully received but that acknowledgement is lost so by seeing frame zero receiver thinks that it is the duplicate frame already receiver has that frame so now receiver discards that frame why because receiver already has frame zero so what the receiver will do receiver simply discards this frame why because already receiver has frame zero so now receiver provides acknowledgement for frame zero receiver provides acknowledgement from frame zero why because already receiver has frame zero so it it discards this frame and provides the acknowledgement so this is the second problem acknowledgement last problem or this can also be called as duplicate frame now let us see the last problem the last problem is delayed acknowledgement we have sender as well as receiver uh, initially sender sends a frame to the receiver let that frame is frame zero next uh, let receiver also received that frame successfully and provided acknowledgement for the corresponding frame but let us assume that that acknowledgement is delayed that acknowledgement is taking too much of time to arrive at the sender so that acknowledgement is delayed we know that every frame will have a timer so after the time period expires sender will retransmit that frame once again so so what is the frame number frame 0 is retransmitted once again let receiver successfully receives that frame and provides acknowledgement for the corresponding frame next let us assume that sender sends one more frame that is frame 1 but now assumes that this acknowledgement this acknowledgement is arrived at the sender now so sender receives this acknowledgement now sender thinks that this is the acknowledgement for frame 1 but actually this acknowledgement is for frame 0 this acknowledgement is for frame 0 so this is the problem here so after receiving the acknowledgement sender thinks that this acknowledgement is for this frame 1 but this acknowledgement is for frame 0 so how to solve this problem in order to solve this problem while sending the acknowledgement also receiver has to provide the sequence number receiver has to provide the sequence number so uh, let it be frame 0 let it be frame 0 so what is the acknowledgement what is the acknowledgement let this acknowledgement is acknowledgement 0 acknowledgement 0 okay now this acknowledgement is for this frame 0 ack 0 so now sender receives ack 0 so by observing that acknowledgement receiver came to know that this is acknowledgement 0 but the acknowledgement is already received by the sender 
so receiver simply discards this acknowledgement why because frame zero acknowledgement is already received by the sender successfully so now what the sender will do sender will simply discards this acknowledgement so sender will try, uh, sender will send a second frame likewise the procedure will happen okay so after some time uh, after some time sender may receive uh, acknowledgement for uh, frame one like uh, ACK1 so likewise it will receives so here for the stop and wait protocol what we are doing we are adding timer timer as well as as well as sequence number for the frame as well as sequence number for the acknowledgement so this is called as stop and wait ARQ stop and wait automatic repeat request so stop and wait automatic repeat request means it is a combination of stop and wait as well as timer sequence number for uh, to the uh, sequence number will be added to the frame as well as to the acknowledgement also so this is about uh, stop and wait protocol